one of the things that this Houthi combat has sh- kind of revealed to me is the fiscal aspect of all of this, where you have these drones that they're launching, they're like $2,000, and we're using hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of missiles to counteract those. Yeah. Which is yeah, shocking. Yeah, there's a real kind of um, disparity in, in, in the, the expenditure of these things. Because you're right, drones these days are fairly inexpensive weapons, and everybody has them. And I'm talking about, you know, everybody, all these little militia groups that you've never heard of and I'd never heard of. And they're, they're, they, you know, they have a, maybe a couple thousand um, members, but they have drones and they have, you know, weaponized drones, their ability to, to, to attack targets, you know, standoff attacks. Um, and, and they're not expensive. A lot of them you can buy you know, online, some of the cheaper ones, surveillance drones. Others are, you know, require, you know, a bit more expenditure, but it's, you, you know, it's it's hard, to, uh, you know, to to spend more than a few thousand dollars on one of these things. On the other side, yeah, anti anti drone batteries, uh, the surveillance systems behind them, you know, that's serious money. And at the same situation in Ukraine with the Russians, it's it's just, um, you know, stopping those missiles from coming in is a lot more expensive and a lot more difficult than than lobbing those missiles and drones out to start with, particularly the drones because they have so many of them. And that was, like you said, another realization in the Ukraine war is that, you know, tanks are almost obsolete in this way because you could just blow them up with significantly less money involved in that. And I can't tell you the number of videos I've seen of Russians being chased by Ukrainian drones only to be blown up a few seconds later, which is insane to see this video footage coming out. Yeah, I think you look at some some of the same war porn that I do, and it's, it's mesmerizing because it's you know, we've, we've had video wars before, I guess, but this is something else. I mean, this is real on, on the personal level with, you're right, like a drone coming down the road after like a, a you know, armored uh, a troop carrier or, or, or a bunch of guys running around in a trench. And it's, it's that intimate of level of, co- of combat. But uh, the, the, the Ukrainians and the Russians both now have, you know, massive numbers of these systems. And they're using them to such, a, to such a, an effective extent that it's part of the reason that the battlefield is frozen because neither side can get a real tactical advantage because the drones are up there watching every move. And as, as soon as you get a, a mass of troops or, or vehicles together, then here comes the, you know, the high Mars or, or there's, there's an attack of some kind. Uh, it's completely changed the, you know, the, the, the battle. And I could tell you that folks over on, on, in our country at the Pentagon are taking furious notes of this because this is very much the future of conflicts as far as they're concerned and, and maybe the future, the future of uh, non-state uh, attacks too. You can imagine groups like, you know, Al Qaeda or even some of these groups like Hamas thinking, you know, wow, these drones are pretty effective. What do we get ours? 